Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel GIS and RSX. Today I will discuss about how to download Landsat satellite imagery and uh, calculation NDVI, NDWI, NDVI or any other indices. So uh, I will discuss how to uh, download Landsat image. See step by step. So, uh, search the, uh, I uh, I will search the Landsat 8 uh, in um, search bar. So, I find uh, the UHGS Landsat 8 collection to the top atmosphere reflectance easily import from here or uh, or uh, this uh, copy from uh, this UNESCO party all description are uh, mentioned here so uh, the collection USGS goal are the collection uh, collections in a pet so simply copy from here and uh, paste in Google Earth Engine code editor and set uh, a variable name uh, set a variable name land set 8 you can use any uh, variable name no problem then already uh, i input uh, here the input uh, study area uh, my region of interest my region of interest area uh, shape file uh, already I send it uh, my Godard to the asset tab and then uh, export in Godard in the code editor okay uh, so we take a very another variable so variable name image you can use uh, any variable name no problem then we call the uh, landsat all landsat image uh, all landsat image uh, uh, saved under the variable name landsat 8 uh, this uh, data set this uh, data set provided 2013 to uh, present time so uh, you select your required year and uh, collect the image so we call the landsat 8 image paste here then uh, we use uh, filter bounds data uh, filter bounds function filter bounds function uh, is filter my region of interest area so we use filter bound function filter bound filter bound function my uh, study area or region of interest area stored in the variable name study area so simply copy and paste here <coughs> then we filter <coughs> then we filter filter metadata so that uh, filter metadata is the properties already uh, provided in da uh, data set image properties image properties cloud cover percentage cloud cover 0 to 100 minus 1 equal not calculated so uh, this uh, this metadata uh, provide already in the Google Earth Engine uh, Landsat 8 data set so we simply filter metadata function use data then we use image properties cloud cover simply copy from here and paste
Yeah. Then uh, if you not uh, known unknown function use and operator name operator and value so uh, name is cloud cover simply copy from here and paste then operator less than less than one or two you use no problem sorry this is a single code use okay <clears throat> then we select uh, our uh, our interested uh, date or reason of uh, interested uh, area and region of uh, date value so filter use filter date function filter date start time and end time so suppose uh, we need 2020 1st January to 2020 December last December so now we uh, print now we print the uh, collection image and uh, collection image and view the how many images are available in this area and uh, over this time period. So we take another variable or oh, sorry print function use print function. all images are stored uh, in the image variable name so simply copy from here and paste here then use size function for uh, how many images are available in here so click to the run yes. to the run number image number is complete only two images are available in this period when you uh, when you calculate only one image or single image function two image then click to run the image collection only two features list only two image zero one only two images you use only single image and uh, make your <coughs> reason uh, make your interested indices ndvi ndwi and other so uh, you simply copy image id and uh, calculate here so now we use median function So use median function in average uh, image average image view average image so uh, we select use median function then use clip function for my region of interest area clip so my region of interest area variable name study area so simply paste here 
okay then we uh, we this uh, collected image uh, view in the uh, in map in map interactive view so we use so we use our map uh, dot add layer function we simply go to the doc step and search in map map first for the other is the map dot uh, add layer function so simply copy from here and use in <coughs> go that in the code editor panel so we use map dot add layer function map dot add layer the object my object is image simply copy and paste here click to the run then we use send map dot center object for uh, view in this uh, image in map and center so map dot center object center object study area copy better object zoom level on complete rested area zoom level 10 or 8 you, you can use 1 to 24 click to the round our region of interest to in my brand this image is black because we do uh, will not uh, set any visualization parameter so you uh, go to the layout these are the parameter before any uh, any band in use so b4 band b3 b2 it is a natural uh, composite color this is 98 percent for better looking or better view wait a minute then apply okay so natural color composite b4 b3 and b2 if you are uh, any confusion uh, search in any article and clear uh, for this band the natural color b4 uh, b4 3 and 2 a uh, natural color indicates the band 4 band 3 and band 2 then we import this visualization parameter this param image this param we copy this name and set after add layer and set a layer name to color okay to run D 
this is our region of interest of natural composite colors uh, we have it you download it uh, from this uh, our time period and uh, cloud cover less than one percent so then we set the our ndvi function ndwi function uh, step by step and it export in our uh, drive or export in image in our storage then we uh, final view in uh, arcmap software or arcgis software then we calculate uh, the area ndvi ndwi map change uh, ndwi change detection nd uh, bi change detection and other indices so follow my youtube channel and uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, next video uh, i will uh, down uh, upload it uh, tomorrow thank you thanks for watching